Hello everyone, it's Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that goes behind the scenes and talks to some of your favorite entertainers, artists, and much more. So today we're going to be doing another uh, Tech Tuesday is what we call this uh, segment. That's a little bit off from our uh, regular segments as far as like our interviews, artist spotlights, and going behind the scenes and talking to uh, some of your favorite artists. But uh, we also like to do these segments to kind of help out our other fellow YouTubers and other YouTubers that uh, that have uh, other channels that are kind of related to, you know, maybe a little bit what we're doing or maybe, you know, even gaming, whatever it may be, um, reaction videos. Um, but today we're going to be talking a little bit about the copyright issues. Of course, YouTube, many of you out there, you know, YouTube uses the um, mainly their their own uh, bot systems. There's nobody really in there manually checking uh, copyright issues. It's the computer algorithm basically picking up every little sound and uh, basically blocking either your video, um, the video that you're trying to maybe do a reaction on or even to trying to use a segment on to talk about and maybe promote. And, you know, that's kind of like what we do. We try to promote you know, other things that are inspiring or artists or things going on. What we do, uh, basically, this is a G Gamazda and she's basically, this is one of her, uh, one of our what's new uh, segments that we're, that we're working on. So basically we took uh, some clips from her new, um, one of her new uh, playthroughs. So what we do just to kind of like I said, make it quick, we, we create green screens and or uh, other fellow YouTubers out there that uh, create them that that have a um, free green screens, we utilize them too as well, and we create our own. So what we do is we place a video uh, and edit that video into the segment of the green screened area that we have, as you see here, and then we'll get another segment and we'll put in that video into another portion of the green screen and then maybe a picture of you know like her playing the piano and kind of coordinate those all into a whole segment within the video and as you see you'll have a uh, brian here which is talking about the gamazda you know with the what's new and that sometimes i'm not saying this is going to help at a hundred percent but this will sometimes you know cause the algorithms in within youtube to um accept it and um because you've made a lot of your own changes and kind of uh, created some of your own back imaging and that does help it you know doesn't work on all videos and but this is some of the the ways to get around that to promote maybe what you're talking about maybe even a reaction that's why a lot of the reaction videos most of them sometimes do get they don't get uh, as many copyrights because of course you have either you're using OBS or another screen uh, recording program that may have several inlays within your video and YouTube doesn't catch that. Now of course sound is another thing and picking up the sound of um, you know whatever may be playing YouTube will also copyright that and then we'll talk about that maybe in the next uh, segment. So what we want to do is basically we're trying to get you know the word out there just like you guys are if you're doing a reaction video and you, you want people to see hey this might be a you know a, a great product there might be a great band it might whatever you're doing a reaction to and promoting it that's what you're doing is you're promoting it and artists or entertainers whoever it may be they they love this and usually um and this helps them and this helps everybody and it, it's not really them blocking or their managers or their you know the the production company it's basically a good portion of the time it's it's youtube and it's unfortunate that it is happening to many of us but this these are some of the things that uh, will help you and then on the next one we'll try to get into a little bit of the sound and if you're trying to do uh, music in the background we'll talk about that and how to kind of get uh, alleviate from that so we'll see you on the next one